the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Change our lives, change our destinies forever. <laughs> Can you lift your voice and just begin to sing in the spirit? Just pray and sing in the spirit. That's <laughs> Jesus, we give you praise tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I assure you tonight the Lord will surprise you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord who brought us together will give you a testimony. He will move above and beyond your request. In the name of Jesus Christ. Especially for those of us who came from far, believe me, you are not going to waste your time. Even if I were a herbalist, if you came from a long distance, I would use the best of the ability within my power to bless you. Even if it were for my name's sake, I would still do it. If you, being evil, know how to give good gifts, how much more shall your heavenly father, how much more shall your heavenly father? In one minute, just say, Lord, I believe you. I believe you. In the name of Jesus, be seated. Please, God bless you. Welcome to our miracle service for the month of October. Those outside, we welcome you. Those following online, you are welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord who brought us together will do us good tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I also want to welcome everyone coming from far. Thank you so much for taking all the trips, the sacrifice, and for the thousands of people following us online thank you the lord will touch you distance is no barrier in the spirit in the name of jesus christ please help me appreciate my friend pastor pete rock god bless you bless you bless you hallelujah happy to see you again i honor you sir god bless you and pastor jakes is in the house hallelujah praise the lord Thank you so much. I honor every man, woman of God in this place. The Lord will lift you in Jesus' name. Tonight we are here to attack barrenness. And um, we are here to challenge it, call it the name it is, and tell it where to go to. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight we are here to attack unfruitfulness. We are here to challenge lack of results. It's important to know why we are here tonight. Are we together now? And that means everything that has refused to leave you must go this night. Yeah. Nothing goes by itself. A force greater than it will have to dislodge it. And that power is available tonight. In the name of Jesus. Genesis 21 verse 1. Genesis 21 verse 1 Genesis 21 verse 1 
verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Put your name there. Are you ready to read? One to read. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he had said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he had spoken. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has declared that this is a miracle service for the month of October. And he will do as he has spoken in the name of jesus just to guide us to a few things to challenge our faith and then we'll get to the business of the night um i found some very interesting things while i prepared for this service and i just want to challenge our hearts in the name of jesus praise the lord genesis 1 28 the bible tells us how that God made man and God gave him specific instructions Genesis 1 28 was not an advice it was not a suggestion it was a command are we together and when God gives a command we are supposed to obey it says and God blessed them and said unto them the first word be fruitful he said unto them he didn't say there's an opportunity to be fruitful and i hope that you consider it it was a command be fruitful then he says multiply multiply reproduce yourself and your kind and then he says replenish the earth and subdue it he says and have sovereign control or dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so god made man and gave him adam an instruction and in that instruction he said be fruitful it was not an advice it was not a suggestion it was not his opinion for your consideration are we together now the same way he said ye must be born again that means ye must be fruitful be fruitful and then he says multiply the best description of this verse is found in isaiah 32 verse 15 be fruitful and multiply he says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then he says the wilderness see the levels will be counted for a fruitful vine that's a fruitful vine and then the fruitful vine be counted for a forest that's not fruitfulness that's multiplication are we together so he says be fruitful meaning if you are not fruitful something is making you live in disobedience it's not about your benefit you are insulting the command of god be fruitful multiply replenish subdue have dominion and you see it is in the character of satan listen please it's in the character of satan to carefully hear what god has said because his assignment is to prove that the lordship of christ is a mirage and so his the, the his assignment begins only when god speaks satan cannot do anything if god has not spoken because his job is to make the word of god of non-effect so he listens carefully and he's patient isn't it interesting that even to destroy you it is activated at the coming of god's word if god has not said anything about you satan has nothing to do to you because his assignment is to oppose the word of god so i could imagine satan carefully paying attention to the speakings of god and when he told man be fruitful i can imagine satan telling the demons assignment number one barrenness multiply keep people in one place 
And so he goes around attempting to insult the integrity of God's word to the end that our conviction about God will be questioned and then ultimately we will lose trust and confidence in him. Be fruitful. Multiply. Be fruitful. Multiply. Be fruitful. The concept of barrenness. Listen, listen. Barrenness is not the absence of a child. Barrenness is the absence of results. Any kind of result. Any kind of results. The inability to produce desired results. Children. Finances. The level of influence. The level of growth. Any any um, activity that is able to inhibit us from producing to capacity is called barrenness. Are we together now? Jesus did not hide his opinion about barrenness. When he saw the tree that had leaves and would not produce figs, the Bible did not say let's give it time as it were in other parables. He usually, it was in his culture to be patient but not with barrenness. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It was in the character of Jesus to see an unfruitful tree. And then say, okay, give it time. Maybe they didn't water it well. But when he was aware it was barrenness, he cursed it immediately. Are we together now? We do not serve the Lord for results. However, at a point in our Christian experience, there must come a time when our lives will begin to relate with the possibilities that are in God. This relationship that we call results proves two things. Number one, the love and the goodness of God. It's important. The goodness of God is a dimension of his glory that reveals his benevolence, his ability to freely give. There is such a dimension of God's glory called his goodness. Are we together? And so barrenness is a very dangerous force. Do you know while I was studying, uh, preparing for this miracle service, I discovered, generally speaking, but specifically to barrenness, now fruitfulness, fruit of the womb. Do you know it is said that six out of every ten families, six out of every ten families have one kind of, of fruitfulness or fertility problem where was barrenness when our grandparents gave birth to 15 children without CS I'll tell you where it were those our parents were idol worshippers so there was nothing to attack so one woman gave birth to 15 children without twins one 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 of that hot fire with knives and yet after 15 children she would stand strong but the moment you declare that you are signing to another government satan now came up with a system to stop the continuity of god's agenda listen let me tell you there is a bridge between us and the next prophetic speakings of God. Most of our parents and grandparents did not give their lives to Christ or did not walk in the fullness of the system of the kingdom. We became the fruit of that carelessness. Somewhere along our journey to adulthood, God intercepted prophetically and started leading us to understand the systems of God. And already that, that is a transgenerational threat to the gate of hell because the meaning of that is that a generation will come that does not know wickedness a generation will come that does not know father fighting mother a generation will come that does not know um all these kinds of things there will be a generation that will corporately lift up the name of the lord and satan said no way so the first assignment is to stop your faith if it happens that you have passed that level then he now finds a system to keep you alone with your conviction till you die so that it will end the process are we together now mm. 
Let me tell you something. Reproduction is a powerful thing. It's not about giving birth to children. It's about reproducing your values. It's about giving God more space. I hope you know that without a material body, God cannot find expression. And not everybody can host him. A body has thou prepared for me. So our generation is preparing bodies. And this is a threat to the gate of darkness. Barrenness is not about refusing to make you take in. No. It's not about impotency. No. Barrenness is an agenda. It's an agenda to stop any platform that can create continuity of people raised after the image of their fathers and mothers who are themselves after the image of God. Our dispensation was the first to reveal the possibility of reproduction through birth. Every other dispensation before our church age had creation, not reproduction. Are we together now? And so God will create. The celestial beings were created. Now when God created Adam, I hope you know that Satan was once in heaven. He had never seen the possibility of reproduction through birth. That a man and a woman can come through a system of reproduction and give birth to another human being. It was not part of his understanding. So when Adam and Eve fell, he knew that there was no possibility again and then to his surprise he saw Eve pregnant now this was strange he didn't even know the name of what it was what was causing this woman's stomach to protrude after nine months here comes another person and Satan knew that this is a strategy that means whatever is in a man can be reproduced through many children that means a woman can actually hold a child i told you women are gates in the spirit women are gates in the spirit that's why demons oppress them it's not gender the only gates that can authorize another life to be made flesh so barrenness is an agenda marriage is just the focal point of that warfare but that's not the only place are we together there is nothing that gives satan joy as watching the frustration that comes in the life of a believer as a result of repeated frustration and stagnation the human spirit was designed to be motivated on the strength of progress everything that is alive grows everything that is alive moves lack of growth and progress is a symbol of death are we together now so it appears in different forms a lady will keep herself and serve God a man will keep himself and serve God sweating in the house of God and get married and all of a sudden hilarious medical reports begin to evolve themselves fibroid they say the man is impotent are we together now and then it continues like that um, my assignment tonight is to get you very angry with anything that looks like barrenness in your life you've heard the testimonies it should go it can go if you insist hallelujah mm. barrenness it's a terrible thing it's a terrible thing to live a barren life look around our society and you see barrenness speaking everywhere a man begins to build a house and for 10 years it has not gotten to linter level until he dies he leaves it there it's called barrenness it's called barrenness let me tell you something when you buy your first car at age 50 it's not a testimony are we together now when certain things do you know certain things in life have a time period when their coming will be relevant to your living there are it's not just that they should arrive they must arrive on time so that they can be used for the purpose for which they came hmm. are we together now barrenness there's some fruitfulness everywhere there are people's lives it's even consoling if one aspect of your life is working 
and then another aspect is not working at least he will give you the impetus to face it but there are people seated here nothing is working completely when i say nothing your health is not working your life is not working your brain is not working your body is not working your emotions are not working nothing is working it's called barrenness it's an agenda if you see it as an issue you will not address it enough when you see it as an agenda a plot you will destroy it with every sense of seriousness don't just look at it as an issue that is just embarrassing me that's too small a motivation to fight it look at it as an agenda that seeks to be transgenerational and then you attack it whether you have a child or not this is not for people who do not have children you know we have this ugly religious mindset of saying at least i have uh, my first um sets of children twins i have another twins what am i looking for that's even a sign that your brain is barren you may not be barren in terms of physical barrenness but it's all working well the bible says and abraham was old and well stricken in age he said and the lord had blessed him in all things second kings chapter 5 says naman there was a man called naman he said he was a captain of the syrian army and the bible says he was a man who was valiant for wars but he was leprous when i was preparing for this meeting I took a clean sheet of paper to write out everything that was working in my life and everything that was not working. And I presented it to God. I said, Lord, we are flogging it out this night. Don't sit down fooling yourself, just focusing on the things that are working. Thank God for them. But do not say because five things are working, let me let the other two. You must force those two to work. Hmm. Say amen. Amen. Let me give you a few scriptures specifically for those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I don't know how you will motivate yourself tonight, but believe God, believe God, believe God. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14. Please help us media. Let's be very fast. There's a lot to do tonight. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14. I want you to read it, please. If you're a child of God, read it loud. One to read. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. Uh -huh. There shall not be male or female barren among you or your what? The only people obeying this scripture are animals. The only sets of people obeying this scripture are animals. They don't pray. They don't fast. They give birth anyhow, anywhere, under any condition any condition it says thou shall be blessed above all people there shall not be male or female men can be barren women can be barren pastors can be barren parents can be barren families can be barren territories and nations can be barren hallelujah are we together now? And then it says, there shall not be male or female barren among you. That means if you are experiencing any form of barrenness, it cannot be God. I'm giving you reason to attack this thing as from the devil. Do not create any theology under any circumstance to justify barrenness of any sort. Don't be embarrassed by it, but summon the courage tonight to call it what it is and face it squarely. Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 127, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 127, please. Verse 3 to 5, very quickly. It says, Lo, read it, please. Children are what? Um, this scripture. It's a very powerful scripture. It never said children come from men. The seed that gives them bodies come from men. But children are a heritage from 
the Lord. Read on please. We are not done media. It says as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man. So are the children that are giving birth to early. So are the children that are giving birth to early. You are, it's not just the children of your youth. There is something about youthfulness and giving birth. Even biologically, without any sense of insult, but even biologically, we understand that when a woman has stayed so long and is about to give, to, to give birth, there, there are certain kinds of sicknesses and imperfections and deformities that may likely happen. Like Down syndrome and so on and so forth. The Bible talks about the children of your youth. Verse 5. Happy is the man whose quiver is what? I don't know about you but I don't believe in having only one child. Because two is at least the number of witness. And there are certain things that only happen when two or three Ah, come on now. I'm preaching to somebody. Go ahead. Respect your ideology. But the more you know God, the more you become a believer. Hallelujah. Happy. He didn't say sad. Children can make men happy. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. I have met wealthy people who the only thing they pray for is a child. Are we together? They will pay any amount they will go any length. They just need a child. Not prosperity. Not a job. Happy is the man that his quiver is full of them. He says they shall not be. Society has an ugly way of stigmatizing people. In every area of barrenness. But especially on fruitfulness. Especially in Nigeria. The average time they give you is two weeks. Once you are married, people are, uh, it's ladies that first start. They look at the signs, they look at your face. The men don't know, they don't care. They will catch up later after four or five months. I mean, but the women, they're already looking. And then after two months, someone will confront you and say jokes. Ah, when is Junior coming? Now, you think it's a joke. After a few months, they won't laugh about it when they are saying it again. We live in a society, especially Africa. After nine months, if you cannot give birth to a child, your persecution starts immediately. Are we together? And then I'm still surprised that with the age of knowledge and intelligence, we still have all kinds of people, you know, driven by culture and all of these cultural ideologies. Oh, I married a witch. That's the reason why I'm not giving birth and all of that and so on and so forth. If the man, your seed is required for the woman and she's a witch. What are you? For it not working. You see that? We victimize women shamefully. And then we think, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is a stupid woman that I got married to. No, no. Listen, listen. Barrenness is an entirely spiritual thing. Forget about the medical report you came with. I am telling you the origin of barrenness. The, see, barrenness, fibroid, and all kinds of demonic operations, they are related. It's the same system that brought them. Listen to me. Fibroid is an attempt to mimic a child between you and a spirit. Fibroid is not just an object growing is growing at a pace that is not consistent with your normal body growth meaning another life is sponsoring it are we together now yeah so you have a woman get pregnant she's rejoicing hallelujah glory be to god the moment the doctor announces she goes to bed in the night and all kinds of strangers depending on what episode a man a woman all kinds of people come and the next thing the woman has lost the pregnancy and while people are insulting her because we live in a society that that who, whose conscience has been so numbed we can insult people without finding what is going on the cure for barrenness is not counseling counseling does not drive out demons 
fibroid is real you can feel it it can destroy you impotency is real whether you believe it or not and do you know this affects Christians more because we are guided by certain principles until marriage so there's no room to ordinarily find out what is wrong with you. You just marry and get the shock immediately. That, that quest for obedience prepared the healthy environment for Satan to manifest it. But the devil is a liar tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I once prayed for a woman who said she would be sitting down. God is my witness. And physically, pastor, physically physically feel a man come to her as though sleeping with her I'm, i don't mean in a, in a vision wide awake any time of the day that stranger just comes claiming legal rights and holds over god's people and stopping them for years let me tell you another thing with barrenness it does not live by itself any kind of barrenness one day my miracle will come it's not a wise approach not with barrenness uh -uh. Mm -mm. you've got to get up and say today today is the day one day is it, it looks like a consolation but you never receive results from it one day i know i'll build that house one day i know how about me is it not turn by turn there are all kinds of wise sayings life is torn by torn are you joking there are some people who died their turn never came you force your turn brothers and sisters this thing is by force you force your turn you force your turn time and chance happens to all it didn't say they receive it it just says in god's equation he made provision for everyone to have it as i'm speaking to you i'm very angry in my spirit because some things must change this night in the name of jesus christ i know families who have spent millions literally looking for the fruit of the womb i know families who have been depressed at all kinds of things do you know the one that pains me more when a pastor becomes barren that 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 one that one gets to me is is personal you know why because satan is like putting a billboard on the man's life i am at work and there's nothing you can do about it it's very painful it's very painful i've had the privilege of meeting men of god in different places and they are one prayer they come to me in the secret and they cry they say man of god i lay my hands on others they come back with twins they come back with this but i've not been able to have a child and we have members whose mouths don't keep quiet. We run our mouths around with different episodes of what we think might be the explanation supporting the barrenness. Rather than taking it personal and go to God and say, no Lord, something must be done. Do you know what Abraham would have gone through? 25 years barrenness. Hallelujah. How about other aspects of barrenness? The inability for you to produce results in ministry. To the point that you are now doubting whether you are called or not. Are we together now? You used to shout before and say, I know God called me. But after two years with seven members alone. You're already keeping quiet now and say the most important thing is I'm obeying. You, you see, let me tell you, lack of result makes you to hide certain convictions. You will be forced to hide them. That's how Satan stops people. He doesn't shut your mouth. He stops the area of results. But we are going to pray. Listen, tonight I don't want you to feel embarrassed about confronting anything that is barrenness in your life. Are we together now? We are a family of faith and we are going to cry before the God of heaven and say, Lord, open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open a door that no man can shut. Hallelujah. There are pastors who are supposed to be at a level. They, they are doing everything scripturally. That should bring the kind of results they want. And yet nothing is working. 
absolutely nothing is working no ministry people come receive miracles and go all kinds of things happen one day my result will come is a deception from hell i'm telling you this again you must insist and say i make that one day today psalm 113 verse 9 psalm 113 verse 9 please help us media psalm 113 verse 9 this is what will be somebody's story after this miracle service. It says, he make it. Who makes it? Ah! And we're standing here only because you made. He make it so God can make it happen. It is within his power to make it happen. He make it the barren woman to keep house. And then he says to be a joyful mother of what? The only reason why you should stop giving birth is mutual understanding between you and your wife. Not a situation that has pegged you and saying that child will not come. No. A joyful mother. A joyful mother of children. A joyful mother of children. One last scripture. Exodus 23 verse 26. Exodus 23. I like you to read it. One to read. There shall nothing cast her young, nor be barren in thy land. It didn't say there shall no one. It said nothing. Nothing. Do you know your money can be barren? Many other things in your life can be barren. It says, There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Brothers and sisters, it's time to get angry. To know that every trace of barrenness, regardless of how it appears, is of the devil and must be dealt with as such. Three keys to fruitfulness, very quickly. When our backs were against the wall And it looked to see if it was over You made a way And we're standing here Only because you made You move mountains You cause walls to fall With your power Perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we're standing here Only because you made Three keys very quickly to fruitfulness The first key is to treat fruitfulness as a command Have an understanding that fruitfulness is not an opinion. It's not an opinion that is left to your personal desire. Fruitfulness is a command. Fruitfulness is a command. Genesis 1.28 Fruitfulness is a command. Anything that is not fruitful in your life is causing your life to be disobedient towards the word of God. Anything anything the moment you see your life not producing result in any aspect there is a spirit forcing your life to reflect obedience disobedience fruitfulness is a command barrenness is an attempt to make you violate that command number two the second key to fruitfulness is that obedience to kingdom principles will deliver the desired result it's not enough to have the understanding that is a command there are principles that compel your partnership with the word of god in order to get that result principles scattered through scripture are several principles that are responsible for certain manifestations of god's grace in our lives 
Are we together? Praise God. Are we together now? Sorry about that. Obedience to kingdom principles will deliver desired result. Listen, please. Wishing and crying helps you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together now? God is moved by your tears, but he only responds to his word. He is moved by your tears. We do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. It's called compassion. But for results to happen in your life, you must activate the word. The woman with the issue of blood had been crying, but nothing happened. But she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Obedience to kingdom principles. For instance, when it comes to finances, your tithe, your giving, kingdom investments and the opportunity and the platform to provide value remain the irrefutable keys to wealth and abundance there is no theology around it are we together there is no magic and mysticism around it obedience to kingdom principles now most of us want miracles of fruitfulness listen we want miracles of fruitfulness in our lives. But we are unwilling to pay that price of alignment. There are people who are not consistent tithers. They have an idea that tithing is, um, is a system. Men of God just corner the money and they enjoy it. I mean, that, that, that is such a deception. See how cheap you gave yourself to Satan. How much is what you are bringing? For you to believe that is the reason why a man will compromise on his faith. There are all kinds of theological ideas sponsored by the gate of hell that keep people poor. Are we together? How about trusting and believing God to make you whole? Do you know there are people who do not believe? Listen, listen. There are people who do not believe in some of these testimonies you hear in the church. Maybe not in Koinonia, but in the body of Christ. When they hear something like fibro disappear, they just look and say, oh, we agree. They don't lie. Let's clap. You see, we, we mock ourselves because we have so fraternized with unbelief. It has become our template. You never refuse to agree that the person was not born with the growth. It came from nowhere. You believe that one. That it went back to where it came from. You don't believe it. Are we together? Yeah. Oh, someone's genotype changed. Or oh, a woman gave birth to triplets and twins. Some of you, where is the woman? Let her come. Let's see. I must see with my own eyes. You see, let me tell you something. Do not over-intellectualize spiritual things. They are far beyond the realm of the intellect. If you learn to believe God with childlike faith and say, Lord, I know this is true. When will you believe? Are we together? Honestly, there are some of us we have never really believed anything truly. You have only been aware that it happened. But that conviction, no. I'm a believer. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Especially for those of us, listen, especially for those of us who, who claim to be a light, we have allowed education to take the place of God. And then we want God to give you a science on how these things will happen. Are we together now? God, you need to show me how this will be this and produce this. And then God says, me? give you that explanation the bible says for us you do not know the way of the wind nor how bones are formed in her that has a child how a seed a little seed from a man becomes the bones of a child that you cannot break with your hand explain that mystery says so you do not know the way of god tonight i want you to believe don't sit down asking will this genotype really change will i really be delivered Will God bless me just like that? I remember one time, P. 
people were joining the queue i think some months ago just to see me after service and then um a particular i think it was a lady or so just met me and she was ranting all her problems what she felt you know she felt look i need special time and i just touched i said it's done she said no no you don't understand i'm trying to explain. i said it's done what are all these long stories you are it's done i touched you i said it's done now i know what her problem will be even if his pain is not on her head you just touch me and say it's done that's how it works it works at the speed of faith The woman with the issue of blood did not touch the hands of Jesus. She touched the hem. Frankly, any part she touched would have produced the same result. It was never about what she touched. Are we together now? We have seen all kinds of testimonies just with one word. Just with one supernatural word. My neighbor then, I think she's somewhere here. She shared her testimony here. You've heard the testimony of the miracle that God did. Supernatural miracle. All kinds of devilish things. And they said all kinds of things were, you know, growing and all of that in her stomach. It came out. It passed out like a woman gives birth to a child. That's how it came. Oh, come on. See, this God, eh? Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Would you come and do a miracle, a miracle today? Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. One of the strategies of Satan in this season is to plant nonsense in the bodies of ladies. Very healthy lady, eating well. The moment she's about to marry, they will tell you something is wrong. Ovarian cyst fibroid somewhere or they'll say the womb has disappeared are we together fashions of stories sincerely communicated by well-meaning doctors but that's a manipulation somewhere are we together now to an extent some of you ladies now are looking at me you are even afraid you are not even sure you see all kinds of people, even if you are prophesying about finances, they are laying hands on their womb and say, Lord, my own is not money. Just make sure that I give birth. When has a good thing become a thing of fear? Are we together now? And then the, the one that surprises me is the concept of impotency. Where they say a man, no, 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 no. That concept is a mirage plus plus. You better disbelieve it. Gentlemen, listen. Gentlemen, listen to me. Don't ever, don't ever, I say it again, allow anything to convince you that there is such a possibility like that. It is, it is, it is an advanced form of witchcraft in the life of any man. Are we together now? Don't think I'm just talking. I know what I'm saying. What you tolerate, you will never change. What you give flimsy excuses for you, it will never leave you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I want you to challenge yourself and tell yourself, I must have testimonies. Fruitfulness is a command. Number two, obedience to the principles of the kingdom is required to deliver your desired result. The last point I'll give us and then we'll pray is that in many cases, warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony. Now, you better believe this. In many cases, Obadiah 117, in many cases, warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony. That's not because you are a witch. That's not because you are a wizard. Away with that imbalanced communication to think that the moment devils are casted out of lives and people, it means that they are possessed. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. And away with that wrong understanding, a believer cannot be possessed, but a believer can be greatly influenced. Your faculties can come under siege. Siege that will look like you are possessed of devils. Make sure that the construction of your belief 
is based on the word of God. So that you don't shortchange yourself of certain possibilities. Look at me. There are many of us here seated looking at me. There are spirits sitting comfortably upon our lives and destinies. Every time things are not going well in your life. And you do the best you can to keep certain kingdom principles. Then I want you to know that you are not alone in that system. There is a stranger attempting to add to the equation something you did not add. If you keep quiet, that's how your life will go. Warfare, deliverance, contending with the powers that be. Satan will not let you go just because God said to. It takes force. A popular scripture that has become our anthem in this place. Psalm 66 verse 3. How terrible art thou in your ways. He said through the greatness of thy power. Shall thy enemies submit themselves. Not through the greatness of your discussion. It takes power. Don't see. Listen. You are, you are coming from a family with transgenerational witchcraft. I know you are in Christ. But listen. Satan does not care. All that grammar is none of his business. It, you have to prove you are in Christ. By taking advantage of the power that came through Christ. To put him where he belongs. He said, Satan, he said, God had put all things under his feet. Speaking of man, he said, but as it is now, we do not yet see all things under his feet. Faith is not foolishness. You must summon the courage to confront things that have refused to go. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm born again of this and that and that. But you are seeing all of you, you are seeing patterns that reflect a healthy living of wicked spirits Jesus did not hide the fact that we are influenced perpetually by all kinds of spirits in our world who attempt to compromise on our testimony it was God's servant Bishop Oyedeko that shared how that when the ministry started great ministry now touching people across Africa and the world but then when they started people would not just come pastor for whatever reason, a very anointed man, signs and wonders, epochal revelations, but people would not come. And one time they were praying, engaging in warfare, intense warfare in the place of prayer. And the Holy Spirit asked him to come out. And he came out. And then after he had moved a distance, the Holy Spirit told him, turn and face, you know, look at the building and all of that. And then he saw a thick layer covering it. And this was what the Lord told him. He said, this is... The stronghold that makes people to misrepresent your ministry. Everything you do, they see it in a bad light. And he commanded it to go. And it left. And all of a sudden, there was, there was explosion. Kenneth E. Hagin, teaching on his encounter with Jesus. His book about his encounter with Jesus. He gave a very dramatic scenario that happened between him and Jesus. He said at a point when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him Jesus was talking to him and was giving him some instructions all of a sudden a devil like an imp, a short devil just appeared in between them and was jumping up and down you know distracting Kenneth Hagin. Kenneth Hagin said he thought Jesus Christ being there would stop that spirit from coming Yet the spirit was there jumping up and down. And Jesus kept talking. He seemed unaffected by whatever the demon was doing. But Kenneth Hagin was affected. And Jesus kept speaking. Kenneth Hagin said it worried him for a long time. Until he got angry in his spirit. And the Holy Spirit gave him a strategy. And he commanded that spirit. He said in the name of Jesus I rebuke you. And he felt and, and left. And this was what Jesus told him according to Kenneth Hagin. He said if you did not do anything about it. I would not have done anything. All that it is to be done, I have done. How can I is nonsense. The day you get up, you the best way to predict your future is to create it. Create it. Create it. Don't sit down waiting for it to come. Create it. Listen, I don't believe in circumstances. I create any circumstance I want. I create it. The Bible tells us that the word is framed. 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 Your world, your environment, your reality is framed by the word of God. Obadiah 1.17 It says... 
and upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Then it says the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Standing between the sons of Jacob and their possessions are gates, forces, fraternities, covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of God's people. And then he says that there shall be deliverance. Deliverance is not falling down necessarily. It's not just manifesting and coughing out things. No. The context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis between you and any force that keeps you bound. Are we together? There are things that have held our lives, brothers and sisters. And it must let us go. You must believe this. Don't sit down. I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time. I came with my spirit angry. We're going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively. But then I want you to know the reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere. And I tell you, if you let those spirits, they will wreck your life. Wreck your life. There are pastors whose churches have refused to grow. And they think they preach well. They are anointed people. They are great people. But they are all kinds of forces. Brothers and sisters, wickedness is real. The Bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness. Don't say I didn't do anything to anybody. The condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born. Once you arrive here, that's all. You, you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence. So as you come, you just join in the whole thing. Don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble? No. It is there before you arrived. Have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child. You are the idiot like him. You just inherited an insult. Just because you were associated with a man while they were making that trouble you were in the loins of eternity and now you came and participated tonight i want you to believe god i want you to believe god brothers and sisters there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle i believe in breakthrough breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed where limits are taken kabbalataya limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken i don't know what has held you down you must break this limit don't sit carelessly looking some of you have some results we all have different results but is that the best god can fast track your life that between now and december 31st he will put a new song in your mouth a song of praise in your heart he said many will see and fear and put their trust in him Hallelujah. And time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought the mouth of, of lions, shot the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness. Let's look at one scripture. Romans 4, 18. I just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith. We just finished a series on faith. Please, I encourage everyone as God grants you grace. Make sure you get those series and listen to them. But I just want to challenge our faith a little even as we prepare to pray. There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I, believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps. Right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. Shalakayataba. I'm still hearing footsteps and the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps he's walking to someone's life Lord I pray in the name of Jesus I don't know where those people are but right now their stories must change must change 
God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. Sabarato Kasubaya. A change of story. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. Sarato Kaparata Katatata. Leketekete. How forcible are right words. Sekatalatos. Empre tokete lekata. Siketere to supatalalaya. Dekatash kabarita da bada bada bada. Sekreto si bada da bada da bada. Rante katalakoto supata. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying He's giving people testimonies. It's like the Spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. He will meet you where you are. Shabala rabala rabala. Sit down. Sit down. Let's finish up. Romans 4 verse 18. Just sit down. The waters has been stirred. I just want to give you an understanding on faith. You have a role to play. Listen please. You have a role. Don't worry about what is happening. You have a role to play. Please hear me. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. You're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed. You have a role to be to play. Lift your hands, gentlemen. You raising your hand. I see an angel pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Something looking like oil. That's what I see. I don't even know you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, receive that anointing right now. <sighs> My spirit is fired up. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this anointing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. It's the anointing that comes to the office. I feel it on me right now. Seketo sheta reto kaso da preta shia da ba. Lembre to sata bra shikete bra ta kata bara ta ba da ba. Lebra to shia. A lady with a breast lump. A lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now. Check yourself. Check yourself. A lady with a breast lump. The left side of your breast. 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 The, of your breast. the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The Bible says, Who against hope? Against hope have taught us. Against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed. Who against hope? I told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle. It is not unusual to see obstacles. There is a system to take care of them. That system is based on your conviction. Backed up by understanding. That compels you to take action. The name of that action is faith. Not the name of the believing. Believing is not faith. Believing is restful confidence. Based on an understanding. The end product of believing is conviction. When you act it, the name given to that action is faith. Listen, you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith. Be convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps. So if you are here and you cannot stand, be ready to stand. Don't just sit down saying, well, let's see what will happen. You will go back home on that wheelchair. You are deaf, you are blind, whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are angering your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating God is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen Jesus said and I've corrected it here I've taught us he said if you have faith 
as a monster seed i've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a monster seed a monster seed is sown that means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a monster seed then you can say to this mountain it was not talking about the size of faith if you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a monster seed then you will do great things Are we together? Tonight, I want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you. I want you to refuse. Listen, listen. There is grace for increase. I feel it in this place. I, I just want you to believe me. You know, sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some, we live in an environment of such unbelief. I know the grace for increase. Listen, increase is an unction. Honor is a mantle. It can come upon a man. You can carry it bodily don't sit down and just waste your time you may not be sick in your body but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life listen i told you creation has never been disobedient something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation an anointing is like a mantle it works like a charm when it is upon your life that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking, can I get the child? No. What you should be asking is, can I get the twins or triplets? Not, can I get the child? Are we together? You are here tonight because you are trusting God to do something in your life. Face the business that brought you and be serious. Don't sit down laughing at others, criticizing others. Others will be taking radical steps of faith. Don't sit down there being cynical, laughing at them. No. Connect and open up your spirit. Man of God, open up for your ministry. There can be more. There can be more. There can be more. The pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going. There is a system that bails you out. Even favor, let me tell you, this favor that we think is very free, there are laws. There is an unction that brings favor. It is a manifestation of favor that is effortless. But there is a system, an exact system, a science to its coming into your life. Hallelujah. Don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering, can God change me? Are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over? Listen. There are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom. I'm rounding up now. There are three platforms for reception. I've taught this, but let me just touch it quickly. The first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of God. When you meet God, the presence of God alone, listen, will leave certain deposits. It's like an intercourse between a man and his wife. There is a transfer. So when you meet God, there is a deposit. Listen, the second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom. There are dimensions of the power of God that has been vested in laws. You don't have to pray. The moment the laws are accurately um, operated, the power is released immediately. You don't have to be a Christian. But the third dimension, listen, the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God. Listen. Men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression. Either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings. Listen to me.
You will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham. Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life. There are men today who have covenants with God. Answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith. Their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery to honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing God. When, when Saul came where Samuel was, just that atmosphere implicated him. He prophesied. All kinds of things happened to him. You need to understand that territories, human beings represent systems in the kingdom. And not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes, he's not just waiting for your personal faith. He creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant. Are we together now? God entered a covenant with Abraham. Is that true? And then Abraham slept with Hagar and then had Ishmael. Is that true? They were at the wilderness crying. Two of them were crying. God only had the cry of Ishmael. Why? Because Ishmael was Abraham as far as the covenant was concerned. So God could not listen to Hagar, but he had the voice of the Lord crying. And because of that, he came. Let me tell you, this ministry you see, like cobwebs, is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants. Mysteries and covenants. Agreements with God that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen. I want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight. You are not alone. There is grace for you. Rise up on your feet. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Say na 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 You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Before we begin to minister i want you to lift your voice and tell god everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say god knows open your mouth lord step into my finances lord step into my business lord step into my family faithful god hallelujah Se que para da bato sobra de bala da Lord take away the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening Take away the barrier oh God stopping my influence enlarge my course pa pa ta ya ba Se que tele catara ba 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 Answers prayers. Katatola to seta. 
Lord, I must take my testimony tonight. I'm tired of this fibroid. It dies this night. This night. It must go this night. Not tomorrow. Lord, favor must land upon my life. I'm tired of struggling. Favor must come upon my life. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. Don't bring them out. I am seeing the Lord speaking to me and he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies and it's coming on 21 people. 21 people. I stretch my hands right now. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that impartation. 21 people. Divine strategies. The wisdom of God. Receive it. That idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me. 21 people. An impartation. Supernatural strategies. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen, the Lord is speaking to me and this is a mystery. 
God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Listen. Two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit. And I'm seeing a map. Get ready please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria. And I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now. By the spirit of God. Kaduna state. Kaduna state. I see an anointing. Only Kaduna state. Shabarapakata. Embrekateta. Kaduna state, a miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, there is an anointing. There is an anointing. God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough and deliverance. Breakthrough. Hallelujah. I don't know why God does this. Brothers and sisters, don't ask me. Don't ask me. This is an operation. It's called the Ministry of Signs and Wonders. Now I see Benway State. Benway State. I see an anointing on Benway State. Now, an anointing on Benway State. Benway State. Shaka Toda Parata. Reketekete. Help them, please. Benway State. You can't stand it. You don't have to know whether you don't know your state. Benway State. Miracles. Miracles. Go into Benway State. I hear or to go in the spirit. A miracle happening right there. Right there. All those connected to that bloodline. There is a miracle for you right now. Don't trivialize what is happening here, brothers and sisters. These are territorial breakthroughs. Territorial breakthroughs. Hallelujah. 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 I'll pray for Stephanie. 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 I'm hearing a name, Stephanie. Please, let's save time. Who is Stephanie? You're like a red dress or something like that. Stephanie. Who is that? Stephanie. There is a Stephanie I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone. And in the vision, the Lord is showing me it's like a red dress, but I'll pray for you. Lift your hands. The Lord says, I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now, I stretch my hands towards you. Now, it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name, Johanna. Please save our time, Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna, I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna, 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 Johanna. Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna. 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 There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to pray. I tell you, I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives forces of darkness the lord is bringing deliverance to your family your family the lord is bringing deliverance i'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family and the lord is bringing deliverance right now right now to the family right now to the family the lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family a major deliverance to the family. 
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. As I begin to pray for you, all those devils that has tied the lives of people, it doesn't mean you are possessed. It's not an insult. You may not even know. You may be minding yourself just like you're standing now. I'm going to command those devils. They must go. They are not only going to live your life. They must live your family. Are we together? Listen. Some of you brought many prayer lists. Just one spirit living will produce all that testimony. Believe me. Believe me. Lift your hands. My heart. My soul. I give to you. I bow to you, my Savior and King. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for your anointing to deliver, to set free. There are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they must go. I want you to bring them out now. They must go. They must go now. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. You'll be surprised to see what happens. Kai, 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 Kai. I see spirits of delay. 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 Spirits that have held men down. All kinds of spirits. Father, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, Lord, as your people shout, may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough 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 flowing sound my flowing sound in the name of Jesus one two three shout Jesus now I command those demons go now go now go now Kato Sotoba lift your voice and begin to command every spirit every devil help them please go now I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people you must go now inside and outside I command you inside and outside bring them out I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice I command you you must go now now by the anointing of the spirit release their destinies release their destinies release their breakthrough lift your hands while you pray I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them and the Lord is saying to unlock those chains unlock those chains that anointing will come on certain people right now father I decree and declare in the name of Jesus wherever they are any place in your life that has been chained and tied right now in Jesus name I command those gates be open be open, be open, be open, be open by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Chains, chains, be broken. Ushers, please. Chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains, be broken. Be broken. Kalapatoshaya. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft against the lives of people, against destinies, you must go now. Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity, we have to be very fast because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity, charity. 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 I'm hearing the name Charity. 
charity the lord wants to bring breakthrough for charity the second overflow there are two people god is touching there the second overflow i see the anointing coming on two people the overflow the roadside in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now listen something is going to happen here now ushers i want you to be sensitive i'm going to pray for certain people you will have to help them the grace for speed listen is going to come on some people physically they will find themselves trying to run help them so that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves it's a prophetic act by the spirit so that they don't enjoy anybody lord in the name of jesus guys be sensitive please in the name help them please it's already happening that's the instruction god is giving me an anointing will come on you physically you will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough right now lord i release that anointing give men speed give men speed give men speed 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 by the power of the holy ghost give men speed run like elijah help them run like elijah help her help her run like elijah run like elijah grace for speed i release it i release it from my spirit i release it grace for speed no more stagnation no more retrogression run with the grace of elijah overtake the chariots of ahas hallelujah charity charity are you married the lord wants to give you two miracles huh number one god wants to settle you maritally do you believe that yes sir huh yes sir second what are you doing i just finished school i'm a graduate now huh i'm a graduate now you are a graduate yes, sir. i'm looking at you and i'm seeing abuja huh yes sir abuja yes what is abuja i have a fiance uh, you have somebody there yes sir. that's the person to marry you okay, did you sir. tell me no sir did you tell me no. that's what i'm telling you i'm looking at you i said god will settle you amen. maritally amen. Huh? and then god will give you a job amen. supernatural job amen. because it's your desire amen. god will give you a job amen. the lord is saying i should prophesy to you i'm opening a new chapter over your life the past uh -uh. your future has to change it, the, what the past is is not a good testimony and the lord is saying i'm giving you a new chapter a new chapter come my dear in the name of jesus god is giving you a job may he connect you maritally huh is your name charity is your name charity in the name of jesus christ i pray for you delay ends now delay ends now i pray for your auntie let there be a miracle in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i minister to one more case before i pray i want to pray specifically for barren people i'm going to pray that before we we'll do a lot of other things before we call the sick out thank god there are many hands today and so we're able to do a very quick walk ladies when i count three just shout i receive don't worry follow me and do my stupid thing are you ready now one two three there is an opening there is an opening in the realm of the spirit there is an opening in the realm of the spirit many people are entering it i see it is a door breakthrough there is an opening in the realm of the spirit there
there is an opening in the realm of the spirit. Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're mighty in this place. You welcome in this place. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see being released to people in the realm of the spirit, doors, strange doors. I told you there is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. There is grace for increase. The language tonight is more, 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 more. There is more, more anointing, more grace, more unction, more wisdom. There is more. There is more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. The Lord is leading me to pray for brothers. Lift your hands. You'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen, there is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I see this thing falling on many men. Jesus, it is your word. You have released this word. I put authority upon this prophecy and I declare, let it enter like an arrow into the life of men. Right now, take it. Receive that grace right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Help them. Grace, grace. Strange establishment. Doors opening. Doors opening. In their own accord. Help them. Doors opening. I put you in a platform spiritually. Where you experience speed and establishment. In the name of Jesus. Help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. My God. Be established. Be established. Be established. Be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land by the Spirit. Go and build that house by the Spirit. I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. By the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you praise. That's the shout there. That's the shout by the spirit. There is an anointing to pray for the barren. Come, please. All those, whether man, woman, if you are married, look, don't come out here if you are not married. Why are they here? Why are they all here? You must be married. Except if you are standing in for someone. Don't stand here doubting. There is an anointing. I see a river. Some of you, as you are standing right now, the power of God will come on you. Just before I even start praying. Look at this. Will you open up the gate? Habarato sobariadabara. 
open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Lift your voice in one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? for you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that, we'll pray for the sick generally. We have a lot to do. Don't lose touch of this. Don't come for koinonia and then sit down. This is not a museum. Let your heart be connected. Because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit. I'm going to be very fast. I'm seeing... Listen. I'm seeing something like a bird. is jumping out of a lady now. One person here. I don't know who that person is. But the Lord is asking that until that happens... Uh, like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child no matter what the spirit is no matter what the issue is fibroid infertility low sperm count whatever i don't care what the name is it must live right now in the name of jesus please shift very quickly as i lay my hands on you it is done receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace now go and carry your miracle child madam carry your miracle baby carry it now carry it now my god i tell you i see babies literally in the realm of the spirit carry it now carry it now carry it right now carry it right now Miracle, 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 miracle. Shata da 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 balada. Regete gete gete. There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shabala da bala da ba. Rekete kete. Embroto koto bala da ba. Shabara da bala da ba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them, please. Let's save time. Grace. Receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God. Testimonies. Wombs opening. Fertility be restored, receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus. Bring it in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of 
You have been having nightmares. Somebody comes to you in the night. You have you even wake up shouting. You've not been able to sleep. There is a pregnant woman here with that situation. God wants to set you free. Please, where are you? If you care for you, can come and God will set you free right now. You are pregnant, but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams. Like a nightmare. Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself. For someone. Ah, hallelujah. Kai, I'm seeing something that is not nice. I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like 
a, a living a real object please who is that i have to pray for you like i said if you have the courage there's nothing to be ashamed what who is this one why is she here coughing out no 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 don't bring her in jesus name you okay come in jesus name it is done the lord sets you free by the power of the holy spirit i need to pray for that lady honestly this is a serious thing in fact it's not just one i'm seeing two of you come and stand here something it looks like a worm but it's bigger than it you see it it comes out and goes back on its own who is that you're the one god bless you for your courage can you celebrate her don't be afraid see look let me tell you this is this is like a spiritual hospital so this is not a place immediately i saw it even me i honestly i my body was doing me one kind but i thought you have to say this is bad it's like a doctor madam Kai. and you love god oh. don't be afraid huh do you know this thing where are you from because I'm looking at you, you are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing, let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm seeing. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this and she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows, probably you were trained by white men or she speaks very intelligently. But everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. To a point that, that, do you know what it means? Another object, did you plant an object in your body? Comes out through you at will, goes back at will. For those of you who think witchcraft is not real, you are joking. You are watching one right now. Not pile, oh. I'm not talking of pile. Hold my hands, my hands. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you. And go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ. This old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. It's over. Over in the name of Jesus. Over in the name of Jesus. It's over in the name of Jesus. There's one mama here. The anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people. There's one mama here. I'm seeing in a vision. The power of God will land on you. You, you may not even be expecting it. Not everybody. This, this is an, like an elderly woman. But I'm seeing an anointing. Right now, wherever you are. Father, something will land. It's like fire. It will land on one mama now. Supernatural grace. You will start laying hands on the sick. Oh, that's the woman there. Help her. Help her, please. Bring her here. Supernatural anointing. 
supernatural anointing for the for barrenness. Look at this. Look at this. This is an elderly woman for God's sake. Shera tabaroto koto baradia lembra bata tatsoketia ekarata katalatotia Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? He's here, but I can't locate her now. Madam, come. You will see a man like, hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child? You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes, How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? Wife? Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please. So that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please? So that we save time. Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please. So that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real. Our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejimi, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child, you will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity, I cancel it right now. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you are not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus Please change our daddy's story. Let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, please, we are going to be very fast. You are here for yourself. You are not married. You are standing for something. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural miracle. Now, we are going to be very fast. You can see it's past nine. But there are so many things we need to do. We are going to do two things at the same time. All those who are here trusting God for any miracle, any miracle aside from barrenness, except if you have another thing, I don't care what it is. Please, you are going to come. There are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly. It's a miracle service. Now, look at this. I want you to organize yourself. Uh, those outside, hold on, please, hold on. Overflow 2. 
just walk right to the front you don't have to come here overflow to the whole of those occupying the roadside just walk right to the front of your your stage there overflow one here just walk right to the front here all those who are here you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation go back please 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 don't make a fool of yourself we are going to pray for i know some of you just want me to touch you there's nothing wrong with you don't play games with god go back to your seat you will receive impartation some of you there's nothing wrong you just want in case if there's something i should still pray go back please we don't have that time are we together now i'm not joking please there is no time huh so those outside just obey instructions please some of you think i have to be the one to touch you that's unbelief i i spent time talking about faith here just walk outside stand there overflow look at how many people pastor for god's sake look at this look at how many people huh? almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone who just get up in the morning and you cannot breathe again that devil is a liar in the name of jesus and i also understand there have been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor Ejimi, and you and who, you and pastor femi yes we are not just i don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you we are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise where's promise join a jimmy promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol the, so that don't relay anybody please behave yourself don't disturb anybody i'm here with pastor pete benga we're going to pray in the name that is above all names shout amen, amen. father was standing in unity from three different points you have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people lord every man of god represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically but the holy ghost is there he's representing us and he will touch you while that is happening concurrently please your miracle um uh your prayer request pass it ushers if you can connect yourself i know that there are not many of you protocol you can help them please pass your prayer request if someone sent a text to you now you can copy it quickly please pass your prayer request while laying hands on you if they give you a prophetic word receive it please guys don't waste time on one person let's just do it first jesus will give you praise i have no other god but you now i have no
as they pray for you, just quietly go back to your seat. Rejoice in. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
make sure you sub make sure you're submitting your prayer requests make sure you're submitting your prayer requests and then when they pray for you you don't have to go back to another line once they pray for you i'd like you to believe in the same god is doing miracles pass your prayer requests I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason 
the Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before before we come to pray. I know there are people, how far have we gone, those outside? There's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one. And then, um, ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because as I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. David damn the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing an anointing is to come upon you pare supreting da ilo supredia rekito fiesta kila handa ha ora ke te supelenda pragadose rekete ga baka kokosho ke palagana renda pa freia so palenda ha resa profilesta kalionde barasoko palagada I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground. It will come upon the feet of many now. Upon the feet of many. The fire of God will come upon your feet. The fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire a quickening. My God. Palio friesa kiata la ronte. Barus itateli. Bo grakishti valande kalevose. Tonight 
tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of us. Yeah, I sent the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. And as we worship you, we build your throne. And as we worship you, Jesus, and take, take your, your place. place. We'll hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside. We are going to pray on the request now. Pastor Pete is going to lead us. Pastor Sajex, please help me since you're the only one here. We are praying for your request. I want you to believe God. Stretch your hands over this place. And I want you to begin to pray in the spirit, everybody. Stretch your hands. You are praying in the spirit. We may not be able to minister directly to everyone. But I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. The angels in Revelation chapter 8, that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God. Right now, by the power of God, let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus. An angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. 
Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, he that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers, and the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy in the name of Jesus. Every prayer written in this ground upon this mountain it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those that are still praying for peace, everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive a prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you, and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year, so don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the Spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work, the power of performance, receive it right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Everything dead in your life, I don't care what and I don't care how long. In the name of the one who raised from the dead, I command that thing to come back to life. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands. Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform. I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence. May it come upon it. The spirit of influence. May it come upon it. The spirit of influence. May it come upon it. Every student here, hear me. I program your spirit to rise to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. On common understanding. On common illumination. Any final year student here. Who it looks as if you are not going. From the look of things. In the name of Jesus we change it here. Right now. Believe God we change it now. We change it now. We change it from your faculty. 
we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we banish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast the gate closes over you everything that has left your hand that left your life that should not have left i don't care where it went to i call it back may it gather its kind and come to you i say it again everything that has left your life has left your hands may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of Jesus I force you to rise in the name of Jesus, I force you to grow. If there is anybody in this place, from January till now, you have not stood here to testify, I prophesy to you, now and the next 30 days, may it be your turn to stand here. Believe me, believe me, now and the next 30 days, may you stand here to testify anyone here called jobless or you are doing a job that is not a job any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible sizable benefit in the name of jesus i don't know where the jobs are we create vacancies and put you there we create vacancies and put you there any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed i declare their prayers answer tonight i declare their prayers answer tonight i pray for you listen there is a mantle of honor upon this house and if you belong to this family it should be evident in your life and in case it's not yet working, like a programming in a computer, like an antivirus, I place that mantle of honor upon you. May it shield you from shame. May it, may it shield you from shame. Hallelujah. Every spiritual life that has died here, no more passion for the things of God no more passion for prayer no more passion for the word of God I plant in you a fresh passion tonight fresh passion tonight we're rounding up every family represented here 
that has not had a reason to smile this year it's been tears and tears from home every time they call you from home one episode of bad luck may this be the first good news you will hear good news of breakthrough good news of increase good news of speed in the name of Jesus Christ whoever rises up to find you may the God that I serve even in the secret may he fight them we're rounding up I pray for you barrenness or its kind looming around your life looming around your environment whether in your body whether in your finances whether in the works of your hands in your ministry in your business I pray for you the water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree I introduce that water into your life therefore I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus be fruitful be fruitful multiply multiply replenish subdue and may you command absolute dominion absolute dominion help them please every strange nightmare strangers roaming around your sleep not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy disturbing you oppressing you sleeping with you manipulating your dreams confusing you you don't know whether it's god speaking or it's the devil in the name of jesus i banish those strangers from your life forever i banish those strangers from your life forever in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west to the north to the south whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level I prophesy and I call them into your destiny I prophesy and I call them into your destiny there's someone here God is giving you a word go and register a company and just keep it you may not know what to do with it but just keep it keep it and give God space to use it and surprise you that's a prophetic word for somebody here just register it and keep it you there is no business to source for don't worry register it and keep it and give God space to surprise you may that happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble I declare where the devil put a comma I change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of Jesus Christ you're here you need Jesus you're saying man of God I've watched the things that the Holy Spirit has done I have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you're here and you're saying apostle I want you to pray for me I love Jesus Christ but for some reason my life has gone haywire I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him and there are others who are saying man of God this is the first time I've always mocked at the things of God I've never really been serious but now I'm making up my mind for Jesus overflow one overflow two all following us online wherever you are I know that our time is gone but let's honor Jesus 
We cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity. Wherever you are, don't wait for anybody to come. Be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. I want to lead you to Jesus. Jesus is already talking to some people. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. There are people outside. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Don't stroll around. Run like there's fire on the mountain. One. I'll count one to five and that will be it. Two. Lord, I give you my life. Three. Please, we're out of time. Run. Run to Jesus. I live for you. A fresh start, a new beginning. Will you have your way? I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Hallelujah. If you are still coming, please rush and join them. It should not take a long time. If you are still indecisive, then just remain at your seat. By now, you should know where you stand. When the Titanic sank, there were only two lists. Those who were saved, those who were lost. If you are not sure you are saved, come out and join them. Because it means that you are not, you are not saved. You should be very sure. If you are a man of God, it's like, I think I'm saved. Come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in Christ. In the name of Jesus. I appreciate everyone. Daddy, thank you for coming. And all those who have come to make this decision. Please understand you are not reciting a poem. Don't be emotional about it. This is a simple decision, but it's the greatest miracle. You are opening up your heart to the life of God. The Bible says, and this life is in his son. It says, he that hath the son hath eternal life. Say this after me with all your heart and sincerely. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart tonight. I come to you and I declare that you receive my life and manage it for me. I receive your life into my spirit. I declare that from today, Jesus is my Lord, my Savior, my friend, and my King. I declare that Satan has no power over my life. I'm a child of God. I'm born again in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I stretch my hands towards these great precious people. Bless them. Let this decision be genuine. And let this be the beginning of great days in their lives. I anoint you with grace. I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen thank you for this great decision that you have made now hold on please i want you to do two things for me number one the bible says they that be planted in the house of the lord it says they shall flourish in the courts of our god visiting the house of god is not the key to consistency you must settle down and receive the word our prayer meetings um tuesdays except for this week we're making a little adjustment i'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly but you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life. And then I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Please, this way, all of you, God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Koinonia, are you appreciating them? Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Kete branda kata pa kotos koto breka teke neka pa. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.